I heard you guys talking about um, autoplay on YouTube, yes. and I've never considered it. I've always thought about the thumbnail, but now on YouTube, videos automatically play. All you have on your phone is the autoplay. Yeah, because that, that's computer. what's going to play. It's the and, first five seconds. Exactly. Like, And, and so, you make sure the first five seconds looks like the thumbnail. Of course, because wow. it autoplays so quickly. So like the thumbnail is irrelevant. I have to like visually convince you to click on the video. Thumbnails don't matter? Is this true? Well, no, partially yes, but this is something I never thought of. If you've ever scrolled through your phone on YouTube, you'll notice that videos start playing automatically. Now, autoplay and the inline feature on YouTube is nothing new. Same thing on desktop. Hover your mouse over a video and it starts playing automatically. This gives the viewer a sample of your content and they get to choose if they wanna watch the rest of your video or continue scrolling. For people like you and I, this means we have to focus on something much more important than just the thumbnail. In this video, I wanna share how thumbnails are evolving, what the director of YouTube himself had to say about this, and how you can take advantage of this new information to increase the performance of your videos on your channel. And if Mr. Beat's warning of thumbnails don't matter, is actually true. Thumbnails have been a staple for creators to help drive click-through rate and draw interest from viewers. Even so much so that Mr. B said, probably spend around five to ten thousand dollars a thumbnail. Just make wow. sure you get the right image and it's good. Because like the thumbnail makes a difference between 50 million views or 200 million. 50 million to 200 million views. 150 million views is nearly half the population of the United States. That's a lot. If such influential creators like Mr. Beast are spending so much money on thumbnails, but yet videos are auto-playing within your YouTube feed, then what does that mean for thumbnails? The answer comes from YouTube's product lead director for YouTube's home feed and recommendations. Todd Bopri said, this is increasingly important as the YouTube homepage and search incorporate more inline video previewing versus static thumbnails. For many viewers, the video intro is the new thumbnail. If Todd himself is saying for many viewers, the intro itself is the new thumbnail, well, does this hold any weight for creators like you and I? We polled you, our audience, and found that 72% of our viewers said that they use these previews to decide if they want to continue watching a creator's video. In an earlier video, we speculated that YouTube could potentially remove thumbnails completely. Which is actually crazy because viewers are not just looking at your title and thumbnail when making the decision to watch a video. Your video intro is a third factor. And YouTube could move away from custom thumbnails on the homepage entirely. Rest assured, Todd confirmed that creators do not need to worry about this happening. Todd said, YouTube has no plans to remove thumbnails. With that said, auto previews are used by many viewers to decide what to watch, and many videos have high abandonment in the first few seconds. Putting effort into a compelling video intro that your video delivers on is smart. Let me say that again. Putting effort into a compelling video intro that your video delivers on is smart. Remember the intro I showed you in the beginning of the video? In that same episode with Colin and Samir, Mr. Beast shared this gem that you might have missed. And so, you make sure the first five seconds looks like the thumbnail. Of, of course. course. So before you do, you film a video, what is the thumbnail? What is the video? And then what's the first five seconds? And then what's the first 30 seconds? You know, by the first yeah. five seconds, it's like goes with the thumbnail. Did you catch that? Before filming a video, the way to think about it was thumbnail, video, first five seconds, first 30 seconds. That was the formula. Now the formula is thumbnail with the first five seconds, plus the video, plus the first 30 seconds. Whoa. Personally, this is great news for you and I. That means we don't have to stress anymore about thumbnails. We don't have to spend so much time on thumbnails. We're free. Not quite. Thumbnails still matter. They still show up on your end screen and on your YouTube homepage and within playlists. So yes, you still need to focus on thumbnails. I do too. Thumbnails still matter. Creators are still spending a ton of money to create attention-grabbing thumbnails, but they no longer make or break your video. With this in mind, it is vital that you consider the thumbnail and the first five-second intro when making your video. Then focus on the title while packaging your video so you can maximize the performance of your video. But there is a hidden twist that potentially opens up a new problem. With autoplay being a feature on YouTube's home feed, most creators, even with a strong thumbnail and a captivating title, are losing people within the first five seconds because 
their video is boring. Given the information that we have, how can we make the first five seconds interesting and get people to want to watch? Depending on what the title and thumbnail is of your video, showcasing the first five seconds using text, video, or imagery to number one, confirm to the viewer that those five seconds are what they're going to get in video, and number two, it gets them interested to click into the video and watch past those first five seconds. Again, having a strong title and a great thumbnail is not enough anymore, because if your first five seconds are boring and it doesn't capture people's attention, they're gonna find something else to watch. And I hate to break it to you, but the performance and views that you're looking for, you're not gonna get them. Start your videos off with clips or imagery or even captions on the screen to confirm to the viewer that what they clicked on is what they're getting. Because those first five seconds for someone that is brand new to watching your channel, that may be the only chance you get to make an impression on someone and you don't wanna ruin it. I want you to imagine those first five seconds as your movie trailer. When you watch a movie trailer, the goal of the movie trailer is to give you a bite size of information within that little time frame to go to get you to wanna to watch the movie at the movie theater for two hours, for three hours. They have to do such a good enough job within that short window to get you to go watch the rest of the movie. Do the same within your content. Make those first five seconds so irresistible that the viewer has no choice but to watch your video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. I think we can get to 2000 likes. And if you did enjoy this and you want more content like this, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos or any more content just like this. And I'll see you in the next video.